Hello everyone out there. I hope all is well with you. The scripture in Psalm 91 verses 1 assures every believer in the Lord Jesus Christ security and rest. If we dwell in the shelter of the Most High, what more can we ask for? Here's a blank check from God. Now, as the ball is being passed into our court, we must do all we can to do the right passes to score into the net of Jehovah. Today's broadcast is very emotional for me, particularly. Please, I beg you to share this episode. And the reason why this is so is because if we fail in our beats by sharing, someone who do not know may fall into the pit. And the reason why this is so is the reason of this broadcast. If we fail in our beats by sharing, someone who do not know may fall into the scam of this charlatan. I bring the case of Sister Catherine before you. Catherine is a Kenyan who find herself in Nigeria because she believed lies that is daily pedals on Emmanuel TV. But as she got to Nigeria, the situation changed and she got trapped. I did some background check to be sure this case is genuine. I also took further step, spending my own money to place a long phone call to a consular in Lagos. After back and forth calls, the answer came back negative, meaning they cannot help her. You will hear directly from the consular. Hello. Good morning. Good morning to you. How are you, sir? I'm fine, and you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Uh, is that Kenya Consulate? Yes. Okay. My name is uh, Evangelist Bisola Johnson. Evangelist? Johnson. Johnson. Yes. We are social worker uh -huh. and also evangelist. Somebody sent me a, a heartbreaking message yesterday. And this morning, I had to act on it. The person who owned the message is a Kenyan. So yeah. this lady left Kenya to visit Kwon, the synagogue. And uh -huh. she was not accepted. She has yeah. been in Lagos, you know, uh, roaming around. And she wants to go back home. Even the accommodation, we are planning to help her to clear the bills. But the the issue is for her to go home. That is why I'm calling. What can you do for her? Kenya airspace, everything is no no flight at all. Till seven. They will review on sixth of May. Mm. So this is a problem. No more to do there's no movement. I understand. Yeah, um, even Nigeria, you only can't fly to Abuja. I understand. This, 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 yeah. I understand that, uh, but being your citizen, I think you should bring her, you know, to a place where she can wait, because you know, be it, it, be on the streets, she can be violated, she can be sexually abused or, or subject to some things that she may not be, if, if she may not face in in her home. No, it's only if, if she hear somebody from her embassy, maybe yes. you you can give her temporary accommodation till the time that it will be resolved. You know, it's like almost almost three weeks ago, mm. we closed the office. 
all staff went home mm. to observe uh, these regulations, eh? mm. including myself. Mm. So, you know, taxis are not working. Uh, are vehicles not working? You mean taxi? Taxi, taxi, the, the, the roadblocks mm. all over. Me, I can volunteer to go and pick her. And take her where now? Because we don't have a place to put a, to wait. It's a long, long time, you know. Okay. And you know, this, uh, I also wonder is that if she came here in January, we are doing this the fourth month. You know, some if, people. If, 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 if she was not uh, accepted sir, at the uh, school, sir, eh? sir, all yeah? of us, all of us are not smart the same. All of us, we are not smart the same. If you look at your finger, you will see that some one is short, another is long, another is fat, another is thin. I know, I understand. Uh -huh. So she may get there, she may be confused, and she may even be thinking, she may still be having hope that, okay, maybe next week they will attend to me, next week they will. You know, um, if you know somebody that is desperate, why the person, the person that sent the uh, the a uh, message to me, send it to me, is because uh -huh. she knows I will take it up. Because uh -huh. I have once lived in the synagogue, and I have I know how they treat foreigners, how they treat people, uh, uh, those who doesn't have money, and those who have money, and how they arrange miracle, how they tell lies. And I've been going out to warn people all over the world. Don't don't bring yourself here. Stay in your home. Stay in your home. Stay in your home. Even if you need to go to church, go to church in your country, or you and your family, or you and your neighbors. God hear our prayer. You don't need to travel from Jerusalem to Samaria. Uh -huh. I have been saying that. So when that person saw the the comment on Facebook that I'm looking for help, I have help. I'm in Nigeria. It's for you know. Uh, when I watch on TV, I thought maybe they can help me. That is why I struggle to to buy ticket to come here. And I've come here. They did not attend to me. Now I know that I. Uh, uh, what I see on TV, it is not true. Because if it's true, they will have attended to me. Uh, so she, you know, she started believing. She started, and, you know, I've, uh, you know, it's not at this time you will blame her because she will get more sad. So what we can do for her now is to, you know, encourage her to be strong, that she's not alone. She will go home, giving her hope that she will go home, that she should just, you know, continue. I, I understand that. Eh? Yeah. But now the problem is, you know, you, we, we as uh, the consulate here, the embassy, yeah? mm. there are some facilities that we don't have. Huh? You know, it is not easy to have a place that you can uh, you, to, to, to host people. Eh? It is you know, it's something very rare. Mm. Huh? Now, like me, this, this is the fourth week I'm in the house. I don't leave this house. So where is she? Where is she currently? She says she's somewhere in a cotton. So uh, I can go to a cotton to pick her because I know there's no transportation. If I have alternative place to put her. No, that, no, 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 that is that is that is a big issue. And if she continues staying where she is. You know, money is involved. Mm -hmm. it's true. So that's what you know came to my mind. That uh, let me contact our embassy. Whatever they can do for her. <sighs> it's not a very difficult situation. That one. It's a sad situation, and now I'm also, it's like, you know, this movement, we don't have a place to put her, you know. I, I really, very sad in the way I'm uh, getting the story, yeah?
I know. From, you know, she came in January. I know. The date she and, came. Uh, did and uh, you know, the, 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 there was this. Everybody understands what what problems are there in the world now. Yeah, the day she came may not be issue now. The issue now is how for her to see somebody that that can 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 have empathy on her. Uh -huh. to see somebody who is like a family to her and uh -huh. giving her hope to go back. If the if the uh, embassy has a boy quarter or a room, they can give her. You stay here. You will stay on your own. Just stay here. If it's to uh, buy food for her a week, you stay here. She will at this time. She will not mind. She may be eating bread. Yes. Uh, but uh, that's the situation everybody is in now. This is not the time to eat. Uh, butter and cheese you understand uh -huh. so if she can get you know okay she will know that yes from here i go home but where she is now is very dangerous you know she has been in the in the wilderness from one cave to another and i believe in uh God bring us together so that we can we can see how to help her. Maybe I'll I'll try to talk to my colleagues in Abuja. Hmm. But Abuja, I don't I don't know what the world is all that. And I'll also try to ask in Abuja if they can do this and they can be done. Okay. Uh, so you want me to call back? Maybe you come back this afternoon. Let me contact you with Abuja. Okay. You know, that's a very, that's a very, 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 very bad. Yes, I now. know, but she's your, she's your citizen, and he, you know, I, 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 I accept, I accept her. I, I, I don't if want she's to. Kenyan, she is Kenyan. Mm, if she's Kenya, she's Kenya. But, I, but I, I, I don't want to go on a broadcast and you know start announcing that this is the situation. That is why, you know, I said, okay, let me call the embassy. And, uh, you know, like where we stay, this, you know, it's difficult. Even the hotel is closed a long time. I know. Some hotel yeah. open. Some hotel open. Yeah. Some hotel yeah. open. Mm. Difficult. Difficult. Okay. I will call. What time do you want me to call back? This time. This time it's around 11 now, eh? Mm. Is around ten thirty. Ten thirty, maybe by one. Eh? Let me look people, look for these people in Abuja. I ask them if there's anything that can be done. Okay. What's your name, yeah. sir? My name is Richard. Mr. Richard. Yeah. I'm Evangelist Johnson. Johnson. Yes. God bless uh, you, sir. Catholic sister. You say? You 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 serve in Catholic or? Uh... No no no, I do not serve in Catholic. <laughs> not all the <laughs> evangelists are Catholic. Uh, no, I was just asking. Was just no, asking. no sir, no sir. Uh, okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. Till one o'clock. Okay. I am from Kenya. I came on twenty fourth January, twenty twenty this year. I came on Squan after I see the reverence. Uh, people being healed. I say, let me come for, for my deliverance. After I come, after I come, before I come, I used everything that I have. I used everything that I have. Everything. I spent all the money that I have because I, I don't have more. I spent everything that I have to come. To come in school. So after I come, uh, I finish all the money, I finish everything, uh, my family does not have anything, my family does not have anything, they cannot help me, in fact I don't have any, any ticket, any money to pay for my ticket to go back, I'm asking for everybody to help me, who can help me, uh, Squan refused to help me, they tell me that they cannot help me, they cannot help me. They cannot help me at all, at all. 
In fact, they asked me who told, who told me to come. I told them I just come like other people, the way they come. So they told me, who asked you to come? We did not ask you to come. Why do you come? So I was surprised. Why are they talking to me like this? So please, uh, everybody, I'm asking for help from anybody to go back to my country. In fact, I don't have any money even for food. Food for me is very, is a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. I'm suffering. Where I'm uh, living now in accommodation, they owe me money. I don't have anything. I was hoping that uh, when you came from far, far country, Scorn will help you, will help you. Because all the time the man of God talk about the love. Which love? I don't have anything now. Even food is a problem for me. I can uh, I, I can stay two to three days without food. In fact, I'm depending on good good a uh, good Samaritan to help me. If I no get, I sleep without food. I sleep without food. I call the the school, the school. They tell me that I went there in a church. I talked to them. They tell me no, they cannot help me. They cannot help me. I call them. They tell me that they cannot help me at all. They ask me who told me to come. They don't invite me to come. Who told me to come? So I should cut my cross alone. I am poor. I came from a poor family. That's why I need help. They cannot even afford for my ticket. In fact, they, they depend on me. Here I'm here. I'm I'm thinking all my family they are they they are living now. Um I'm asking for anybody who can help me to go back to my country. Anybody who can help me to go back to my country, please help me. Anybody can help me. I want to go back to my country. Hello, good afternoon. Sorry, you were sleeping. Oh, you know, there's no nothing, no, nothing much to do. Mm -hmm. You could have yeah. taken maybe learning some skill or learning some things online. Oh, uh, so many things you can do, but you know this. Uh, the, yeah. the, uh, I expected you to call me back at that one, but uh, yeah. since I did not get your call, uh, so that's why I'm calling. Okay, okay. So I've been talking to Abuja, yeah. Okay, my so. senior there, this is, a, this is a verdict they have come up with, yeah? Okay. The government can come in and buy a ticket. Okay. Not easy. So later, make arrangements to get a ticket ready when the flight is received, then she can go. Other logistics, like if she didn't have a uh, travel document, that one we can help issue. That we can issue a document for her to travel. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that is what I've told you. Now that she does not have money, how will she get money to buy tickets to go home? That is the question. Before Nigerians can help her on humanitarian ground, we need to report to them that this is what their embassy has said. That their embassy said they cannot help her. So not, 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 not that way that we cannot help. Uh -uh. That is, that, is you, no, that, pro, that provision is not there. Well, that means you cannot help. If the no, provision, no, 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 if the no, provision no, no. is not there, it let, means let me, write, let me write, madam. It means you cannot help. That's what it means. When you say you cannot, uh, it has a different meaning. Uh -uh, uh -uh. If the provision is not there. Yeah, it, it is not means, there. It's not yeah, there. It is it means you cannot help. Because you cannot give what you don't have. 
What, what, yes, that is it. I heard that, that you know, we, I'm saying the same thing. But, but sometimes when you put it that you can't help, it's like uh, a straightforward thing that it not, that help is not there. But it is clear that the provision is not there. That, that is what I'm saying. Okay. So she has to make an arrangement and get her own ticket. Because uh, when someone travels outside the country, eh, they always plan is that I'm going this place and coming back. Okay, she planned to come and where she come, they deceived her. You understand? They deceived uh, her. I understand. Okay, they deceived her. And she's here now. She has no money. She has nothing. De deceived about what? I thought she came to church. And, yeah, they deceived her that they can heal. So that's why she came. But when she got there, they said they cannot help her. That they cannot heal her. They did not allow her to enter into the place. So she had to be standing around, around, around. There is a limit to human endurance. So the little money she said she had, she put up in an hotel, still believing that when, you know, if she go and try again, she go and try again, and she was spending money. Until now, the money is finished. So that is our condition. It's all right. We only call in order to fulfill all righteousness. And if our fatherland cannot help her, there is a problem. So if we are crying to Nigerians, they say, ah, why? Why don't I go so so? I'll present the matter to them that I called and this is what I heard. Yeah. You have to tell your story. Yes. So that, you know, um, one cannot just, you know, telling story on behalf of another person. Yes. You have to tell your story that this is the problem that you have. Yes. Okay? So that yes. other people can listen to it and they will be able to see how it is to help you. Okay. Okay? Okay, yes. can you just give me the lowdown of how it happened? Yes, I came on a 24th January. I was coming on a squad. Uh, when I, I came, I passed there. I I asked them how they that they can uh, attend me. They told me I have to go and look for somewhere to sleep. They cannot, uh, they don't allow people there to sleep if you came on your own. So I I go and I look for accommodation, but I did not have a half much for for that because I was hoping that if you came, they they, they help you, they like you are visitor like uh, like a visitor. So when I came, because I did not know anywhere, I just uh, pushed my bag and I I went looking for accommodation. Uh, when I, I in a, tell me in that tell uh, me, I was uh, tell me where do you come from? Okay, I came from Kenya. Okay, I came in squad. When I came in squad, and they they, they did not attend me. I asked for attendance. They not attend me because I was hoping when I came, I will see the man of God because of my problem that uh, brought me here because it is a uh, since when i was young that is my problem it's very difficult for me i have go i have looked for the so solution everywhere no no with any affair what so i decided to come my problem is bad dreams a uh, nightmare okay now yes. Uh, yes. did you tell them in squan that you mm -hmm. came all the way from Kenya and you need help to go back. Yes. I went in a church there. I see I see the hatchers, they told me no, they cannot help me because I came on my own. That is my problem. Because I did not call them when I was coming. That uh, 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 they did not say, uh, send me invitation to come. So 
I have to look for my problem, to solve my problem on my own. They cannot help me. That is what they tell me. Even I have called them for many times. When I call them, they tell me that uh, even that uh, uh, radio talks to me, talked so harsh, talked so harsh to me. And I said, what, Jesus? Okay, now, yes. now, uh, you need to go back home. Yes, now, what I want, I want to go back. I want to go back home because I came with one-way ticket. I don't have anything. I don't have anybody I can call to help. I don't have, I can see that. I don't have, that's why I'm still here. Okay, okay. So, I will get back to you. Thank you. Please, um, anytime I call you, please take my call. Okay. Just know that somebody cares about you. Okay? Okay. Right. Okay. Be happy. Thank you. Would you mind telling us your name? Or maybe just turn any... Yeah, my name is Mr. Clatus. Yeah, from Delta States. All right. So, uh, what role did you play while you were there at uh, Synagogue Church? Yeah, uh, I was in security there. I started from other departments, but I, I ended up in security in the church. How did you get to synagogue? I started there in 2001. 2001, and um Anyways, l let's just dig it straight. Um, you saw one video online that uh, Mrs. Bisola John Singh was making allegation that she was victim of sexual harassment by Prophet T.B. Joshua. Do you know Bisola Johnson before she left and before you left? Yeah, I know Bisola. What can you say about her? People say she is mad. Let me just say, the pastor you know on camera is different from the pastor you know on... The, it's different from... The pastor you know on camera is different from the person you know after outside camera. Outside camera is a different person. So that means you have been close to T.B. Joshua also, for you to be able to say this? Yes, I'm, I've been very close to him. At least I have opportunity to enter his office without nobody stopping me. Mm, so while you were there as security, uh, what areas did you cover? I cover, I even cover his prayer mountain too, where he prays. Not a mountain, it's just like a, so somewhere that they, it's like a forest that they put sand and everything is just there. I told you I have my father, I brought my father for prayer line. I, I flew him down and I brought him. When I brought him for prayer, I know what I saw. I know the things I saw. Such as? Uh, you know, they will be the one to tell you to cry, that tell the man of God, uh, man of God, help me, man of God, help me. My mother is, cannot work, my father cannot work, help me. You know that kind of, my man of God is coming. How about the miracles? Are they arranged or true or false? Okay, let me talk about that miracle. Uh, you see, as a security then, you would just see that when they bring cripple person, like different kind of cripple person. I don't, there's a particular cripple they used to look for. Maybe the cripple that can walk, that have difficulty in walking. Anybody should go and try this thing. If you have any cripple person that you know that his leg is torn or something, they should take that person there. If the person gets healed, you should believe. You know, so it's those cripple that you I can still manage to walk. Manage to walk. So when they pray for them, Definitely, they will still manage to work. So it will look as if they could not work at all before. No, get up. That's what normally happens. And once, once the Ricky Puk, Ricky Puk come, they will call us security, yeah? discharge them. There's somebody call a lot light, huh? They will say discharge them. You know, I came. And I decided to present the matter to you good-hearted people who believe in what I am doing on humanitarian ground. Let us arise to help Catherine return to her family. The scripture says we must keep doing good, especially to strangers. Since I heard the case of Catherine, I have not slept over it. In fact, our daily feeding has become my responsibility. I know it is a bad time now. But whatever you have, kindly give so that she can return home. I believe we are all in our homes with our family. Catherine needs to return home.
This is another lesson for people out there. All shining metals and gold. What you see on Emmanuel TV are not real. I've said it over time and I keep saying it. She said she had learned a great lesson by trusting only in God. This is also a big lesson to people who run from one prophet to another. It was because of this kind of case that the government of Cameroon and many other nations have blacklisted the synagogue church of all nations and the chief occult priest, T.B. Joshua. Because many Cameroonians have become victims, some were raped, their belongings were dispossessed by robbers on their way to or fro the synagogue, and many are left to sleep on the streets at the mercy of gangs. So the Cameroonian government has come out to warn their citizens to desist from running to synagogue because there's no solution there. The minister said, please quote, T.B. Joshua is an agent of Satan who winking on suspecting members of the public with diabolical miracles. Even his antiques resonate in USA White House. You can see what came out from White House with all these negative records on TB Joshua. He has become an outlaw outside Nigeria. It is only Nigeria government that can cover this 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 charlatan. Friends, Catherine has become a victim today. Who is next? The ball is in our court if we refuse to share these eye-opening messages. We need to share this video to reach to the end of the world so that people will not enter into this scam. COVID-19 has exposed a lot of them. And I believe many of them will be thinking at this time of alternative business to embark on after the lockdown. The different among them will be renewing their diabolical powers in order to deceive you after the lockdown. This is not the time to be satisfied with the spirit of ignorance. We need understanding of the word of God as the apostles of old did. We need to cross-examine ourselves if these impostors called prophets are truly who people say they are. Why are they hiding in this time of coronavirus that they are most needed? Why is there only water that people buy with their hard-earned money, cannot work at this time. Those money you spend to support the frivolous lifestyles of these charlatans should be diverted to help the disadvantaged. Kindly use our bank details with help for Catherine to return home to her family. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name.